All right, well, earlier in the show, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Megan Horak about calving season that is now underway for many cattle producers. Now Megan is back with a recipe to share. In this segment, we learn how to make slow cooker Swedish meatballs. Well, for busy families, the key to surviving supper time is if something is quick and easy, fast, that's what we're all looking for. Joining me now with more on an idea is Megan Horak with uh, Common Ground, and she is from the western area, western Nebraska, the town. And uh, Megan, it's good to see you today again. What do you have for us? I'm going to do a simple, quick, easy recipe. It's called um, Swedish Meatballs in the Crock Pot. Um, there's really just a few ingredients that you probably probably already have on hand. Um, and then um, frozen meatballs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And um, I already got um, my can of beef broth open. And I put that in my bowl here. Um, and then I'm going to add a half cup of water. And then um, cream of mushroom soup in a can that's condensed, of course. Um, this recipe calls for golden mushroom soup but you probably could just do two cans of cream of mushroom if you don't have golden mushroom on hand. It's I've done it that way and it's totally fine. And then you're gonna add um, just a packet of brown gravy mix. So once it's all mixed up, um, you're gonna take your bag of frozen meatballs. Um, the two pound bag is plenty. Um, and this will make about six servings. So for my family of four, it's about perfect. You're just gonna dump those frozen meatballs in your crock pot. And then you're gonna dump your mixture that you just whisked together on top of it. And you're going to set your crock pot to a low for six hours. And in six hours, it'll be all done. Um, it makes a great um, sauce with the meatballs, protein. Um, my, my family likes to serve it over egg noodles because um, my husband's a real pasta fan. Um, but you can also serve it over rice and mashed potatoes. So you do egg noodles or rice, uh, maybe some kind of a vegetable as a side, and you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's super quick and easy, and you could go to work and come back, and it'll be done. Thanks, Megan, for giving yeah. us an idea that's easy and tasty. Thanks for being here today. No problem. Thank you.